Zach. My name is Matt. Welcome to the William Street Swap Shop. It's Friday. It's the TGI Swap Shop edition. We're so happy it's here. We saved some good surprises for you. You're going to be happy you tuned in. This is going to be one of your favorite episodes. You're going to tell people all about it and what a great show this is. That's right. Any plans you have for tonight, forget about them. You're going to be thinking about this all day. You're going to uh, go down to the part of your basement where you keep things that you haven't used in a while and you're going to organize them and say i want to start swapping that's right what can i get rid of i got a camera i have the will to swap and i have the email williams.swap at gmail.com what can i get rid of i gotta take a picture of it this billiards cue stick what am i i don't play billiards anymore that was a lifetime ago i'm gonna swap this thing here's an old uh power wheels car that i used to drive around I'm too old for this. I don't want to collect it. I'm not a collector. I'll swap it. it. Must be worth something. I'm sick of my significant other getting on my case. It's damaging our relationship, this clutter. I'm going to start swapping. I have a lot of extra glasses and mugs. I don't need all of these. There's only two people that live here, me and my significant other. We don't go through that much tea or coffee. I'm going to swap a few. I'll even package it with that nice peanut packing tape I have over there by the kitchen door. Where'd my packaging tape? Hun? Where's my packaging tape? It's in the drawer, last place you put it. Why are you asking me? You're the one who mails everything. You're the official mailer. Just people keep moving my tape. Who else is moving your tape? You're the only one who uses it. Kyle is moving the tape. Well, we need to get these items out of the house. And the best way to do it is you need to start packing them up, putting them in the box, send them to the swap shop. They'll make a deal for it. You know... This relationship was going so great, and now I just, can I even trust you? You moved my tape. Well, you can trust me, but it's all I can say. It's a deal. It's a deal. That was good, though. Yeah. I think that's how people feel when they want to get rid of items. And before you put them out on your... I, I've, I saw a lot through my neighborhood this week, Matt. People leaving items out by their trash cans just to be discarded. I've seen that lately, too. There's been a lot of couches. A lot of spring cleaning. I don't know if that's evictions or couch upgrades. I, tr I choose to think it's the latter because that is more uplifting. Right. And instead of just throwing it away so it can go to a landfill, why don't you take a picture of it, email us that JPEG, We'll put it in our gallery. You can look at look at all the items we have. Find something you want to swap for and get a new item and make a deal. In this world we live in, there are so many things that we have to think about, so much complication, and it's a way to simplify your life. Get stuff out of your house. You clean out the closet, you feel more free. I believe Tyler Durden in Fight Club said it best when he said, the things we end up owning own us. That's right. Most deaths. You are not the money in your wallet, he said. You are the items in your basement. You are what you have collected in the past, and if you want to get better, start swapping for smaller things. So you have a lot of large items. What are you going to do with all those large items? Why don't you just try and swap for smaller, more valuable things like pens? pencils, uh, coin holders, wallets, and put them all in one little box so you condense everything you had into one box. I guarantee you right now in your house there's a drawer and it's got coins in it. Coins from different parts of the country, coins from other countries. And you just say, I'm sick of the coins. I'm putting them in a box and I'm sending it to the swap shop. 
That's right. If you ever get sick of anything, just say, I'm sick of it, put it in a box, send it to the shop. You can email us at williams.swap at gmail.com. And if you don't have anything you'd like to swap in your basement, but you have something in your body, something uh, in your brain, in your soul, in your heart, give us a call. You have a gut feeling about this. Just give us a call at 413-961-4263. We are standing by to answer your call and to talk with you. We'd love to be hear your voice. This is your hour. It's not for us. Right. Hey, if it was up to us, we'd be off... Uh, you know, hacky sacking or throwing the frisbee oh, right absolutely. now. That's this, what I'm talking yeah, about. This hour's Definitely. for you. I'd be up on the roof <laughs> shooting hoops. Just hooping it up. Most ass. Skin it. That's how we do. It's Friday. We're all in a good mood. This would be my lunch break right now, actually, Matt. I'm glad you brought that up because I did not eat lunch. I was so busy getting this TGI Swap Shop episode together with you. I skipped lunch, and I have fainting spells, and I might have one today. I didn't eat. So if I faint, that's on you guys. Well, no, I, I <coughs> promise to carry on the show, Matt. We promise to finish what we need, what we started, and we'll get you medical attention. I just don't want to end up being like a fainting guy gif. I'm okay with the like initial, you know, uh, dignity hit I'll take, but I just don't want it to live on in like a looped gif on the internet when I faint. So if we have a pre, we can tell our crew if Matt starts to faint, just cut, go to something else. Roll to something else. Go to go to a picture of us. Stand by. Matt, if you want, you can eat some M and M's. They help me out. They're a great source of energy. They're good candy. The characters, they're they've been around for a long time, and they're always funny and pleasurable to see when I'm watching a commercial on television. I like the uh, that M and M commercial where they adopt a. A baby. That was the best one. Yeah. Those little peanuts uh, covered in chocolate, they're funny. They get me every time I laugh. And they're good candy. Check them out, M&M's. At all stores. We got new items. We got an we exciting, stuff on our dynamic week today. ahead of us. Let's jump right in. Um, we are pumped because there's new stuff we haven't talked about yet and that always is something we enjoy doing many of the friends of the show remember a caller named ian from a few days ago he lives in virginia beach we call it viz uh virgie b virgie b yep. we nicknamed it and he put in a new item that we're really pumped about it's called a virginia beach hoodie you want to talk about this a little bit zach yeah look at it not only is it patriotic but it's light. It looks like the material is nice. You can wear it on a summer day, show off your arms, or as some people call them, your guns. This sleeve, this shirt is a sleeveless shirt, and it says, I flexed, and the sleeves fell off. It look, looks like they made it in Photoshop. They used the uh, default font, put it together. Pr they didn't have time to work on this or design it or get approval. They just made it, printed it, make 25,000 copies. These are going out to Virgie B, and they're going to be a hot cake. They're going to sell like hotcakes. These are flying off the shelves in Virgie B. Look, it's a hoodie too. So if you get cold, a lot of people know your source of heat comes from your head. If your ears start to get cold, you put something over them and everything else in your body will be fine. You don't need to wear a big jacket. Just cover your ears. So wear that hoodie. Gets a little chilly at night. Go running on the beach. Get to the beach. Uh, you play the, the uh, Pro Kadima is the game with the paddles. You hit that back and forth in this thing. And um, if you're single, you say, huh, I am fun. You guys grab yourself a uh, 64 out of the cooler. You won't put on any weight, but you can party with us for a second. And um, enjoy my sweatshirt. That's it's, right. It's That's what I'm talking about. written in a GIF. Speaking of GIFs, it's written in the meme font. So pe people will know you're internet savvy. Show off those arms. Show off those guns. Some people call them pythons. Just go to the beach. Flex. That's all there really is to say about that. It looks like the picture was taken in the back of a truck where you put things. This person is probably uh, has big arm muscles because they probably work hard outside. I want to give it up to Ian, too, because he said he called in. He said, OK, I get it. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to take control of my life, buy an item, and immediately swap it. You don't see too many uh, buy and swaps. 
but that's what he did and it represents his town well. We asked him to send us something that showed us all about Virgie B and he showed us a great thing. That's right. It's also, as Matt was saying, if you wear this, you have a great sense of humor. You look cool with it. People will think, <laughs> not only does that person have a sharp comedy sense, but they also are fit. Two of my favorite qualities. Someone who's funny, but also good looking, has a good bod. <clears throat> Don't feel like talking? Yank the strings. Cover up your face. Forget everything. And it's patriotic. Coming up next on the on the new items list is a controversial item. Teeth. But I'm into it. It looks like two molars, if I'm not mistaken, R R eighteen and R L eighteen. It looks like, uh, you know, they put a quarter up there. That's what we ask all fans in the swap shop, people who send in images. We ask that you put a quarter for scale. These are big teeth. Yeah. I wonder if that's what the tooth fairy left them after these <coughs> teeth were taken. You know what kind of creeps me out about teeth is when you see a tooth and the root of it is so long. That's is that right. what mine are doing in there right now? It's like a knife sticking into your jaw. They're dancing in there. Matt, did you know I am missing five teeth? No. Well, technically, three of them are wisdom teeth. But my wisdom teeth grew into my molars, and they were beyond repair, and they had to pull out two of my molars. One of my wisdom teeth didn't grow, so I'm missing five, two permanent teeth and three wisdom teeth. It's rare that you get an odd number like that. Right. I'm still waiting for that fourth wisdom tooth to grow, and I think it was going to come soon and give me a lot of trouble. But I'm, you know, always ha look, spin it, look at it positively. If it comes in, that's another show idea I could pitch, the fourth wisdom tooth. Mm -hmm. I was, everything was going right for me in life. I had a great family, great job, and then a oh, wisdom tooth came in. Ruined my day, made my mouth hurt. What's Will Smith's uh, son's name? He could be in it. Jaden Smith. Jaden Pinkett Smith. Jaden Smith. He plays the tooth. Right. You thought I wasn't going to come. I'm here now. Where's my other buddies at? They're already gone. Has anything weird ever happened to your teeth out there watching? Give us a call. 413-961-4263. We'll talk about it a little bit. Let's do one more item and then we'll switch into some of our other okay. exciting things we got going on. TGI Swap. Show. Wow. What can you be said about this that doesn't show in the picture. It's like a flashlight. You know, do you remember Prometheus was the god who gave humans fire? Right. And once again, he has landed in here giving us this. This flashlight. is an ultra fire. You always want to have at least one of these around your house. Power goes out. Don't worry. I got this ultra light. Ultra fire flashlight need to go on a hike. It's dark out. I spend a lot of time out outside at night. Good thing I have my Ultra Fire Ultra. Batteries last for a long time. It's got a good grip. And this light shines far. I can shine it on your house. You won't even know I'm across the street. Put Putting it through the windows. What is that? A glare. Somebody's, Nothing. Just go back to sleep. Somebody sees you and you just drive away. Just drive away. That's right. Don't have to escalate the situation. They saw your flashlight. It's fine. Just drive away to the next house. It's like the power of the sun in your palm of your hand. Sometimes I wonder if it's too much too soon to have a flashlight this powerful in my uh, tercel as I drive around from house to house, looking at the people's lives inside. Well, notice also one of the big things on this is it has a clip. You can clip this to your waistband along with your phone. I'm a big fan of putting my phone box on my hip. I don't I like to put it in my pocket. I like to display it on the side in a holster. Put my flashlight right next to it and any other gadgets you got in your set. Your Blackberry, keep it right next to your hip there, right. next to your ultra fire flashlight. With a big, thick case. You don't have to be out of communication with anyone. You don't have to live in the dark ever. You just got everything you need. That's right. And some people say, why would I want to get a flashlight? I have one on my phone. Well, what are you going to do when your phone uh, dies? The battery runs out. 
You can't charge things. You have batteries, but they don't go in your phone. Double A's don't work in the phone, but they work in this ultra fire. You know where I keep my batteries? Where's two that? of them, two batteries in each pair of pants I have in case my flashlight goes out. I spread That's them out. That's what I'm talking about. All the pants, pants left, pants right, and even my cargo shorts. I keep double A's in every pair of pants. Do you put them in a the pocket or do you put them in a the battery holder that connects to, that hangs from a clip on your pants? The coin pocket, the little small one. Okay. And then I, they're always Duracell, and I always display the copper top. That's how I got that uh, name. You're always positive, the positive tip up. Keep right. the negative down. Positive, Pos yep. You got to keep the Plus positive up. tip up. Yep. Well, that's a really cool flashlight sim sec. I hope somebody swaps for it. I, I'm in the market. I think this might be our first sort of like a... Artificially intelligent robot swapper, Simsec. Right. I don't need this flashlight anymore. I'm a robot. He what do gained, I need to see? He gained, uh, he became self aware, and the first thing he did as a sentient robot was to send us a swappable item on the show. We appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you very much, Simsec. It's a great item. <clears throat> Where do we even begin? I think we got a potential swap we should talk yeah, about. Let's sh go right into you it. You saw it. It's relevant. It just came up. And um, why don't we roll that one up here? Load the clip for potential swap. Proposing the Ian proposes Virgie one. B He's got the Virgi B sleeveless H, and he is proposing it to Daniel. I like the swap because it's a old meets new. That's right. This is an effects pedal from probably a few weeks, if not months ago. He dug into the show. He really did his homework, and he said, "That's what I want." Yeah, he really did go back and find something that was the, the guitar pedal has been in the swap shop now for a few months said this is what I'm gonna do I'm, I have a lot of jams that I play on the boardwalk at Virginia Beach this is what people are gonna hear this is how they're gonna hear me the best I can crank that volume up you know what my favorite guitar effect is like a little bit of reverb a little bit of distortion and then chorus I put on there that's right and uh, that's how I play when I'm solo over uh, Dave Matthews uh, band at my, in my house your favorite, you told me your favorite guitarist was The Edge from U2. Well, he is. But in terms of soloing over CDs, I like to do a little DMB. I uh, think it's what make people enjoy the most, right? When you have company over. Yeah. Hey, you guys mind if I just put on some Dave Matthews and play, play along with it? You guys stay at the table. I'm done eating. I'm just going to go in the other room and solo over some CDs. Right. There's still plenty of cheese and crackers left. Help yourself. I'll be right back. I was looking for chat responses. If you guys, I know the the pod, the pop guitar pod belongs to Daniel. I know he's, uh, I think he's in there today. So we'll check in and see. He's got to do some some thinking about it. Right, it's, it's something to think about. I mean, because let's be honest, that guitar pedal is probably worth a little bit more than that sleeveless H. But the nice thing about that sleeveless H is you get memories. It creates comedy. People think you're funny. People like you. People probably think you work out. It's a good way to boost your self-image. Summer's right around the corner. It's a perfect season for a, a sleeveless thing. That's right. And uh, if you ever hit Virgie B and you're just kicking it next to some breakers, you got to have that thing on. Put it on. Wear the sleeveless. I think you get a nice tan. If you have a tattoo, an upper arm tribal tat, show it off. It's a great, great commodity to go with your summer 2016 fashion look i don't want to lose our chance to show this so you know like we're always uh talking about swaps do they ever happen there's always a lot of tension is it going to go through like you just saw with this potential swap well they go through they all work. the time yeah 
the swap shop works and we have another example of a, a, a successful swap that's right it was a recent just this week successful swap and i think the video will speak for itself like a swap boutique hotel where you just meet other swappers and right. have anonymous uh, intercourse. Well, I think it's to show that swaps happen not just, you know, in the past we've put handshakes coming across and just shaking hands. This one was to show, hey, you have to go on a journey sometimes and if that means going up to the second floor of a two-story hotel, then you got to do it. And there's someone waiting at the top, they don't want to be seen. They're going to reach out, grab that item. Thank you. It's a deal. That's Just because there was so much going on, it's kind of unprecedented. But could we roll the successful swap video again? And maybe you do like a director's commentary yeah, sure. about what you were thinking <laughs> while you're working on it. Okay, so here's the doors. The hand's coming up. You're at an elevator. You hit it. And I didn't plan this, but the music actually times it right because the elevator's rising and the beat goes. And then the doors will open soon. You're waiting in the elevator. I hope they like my item. The doors open. Wow, it's nice here. It's kind of cozy and cool. Oh, there's the item they're trying to sw trade. It's a little monkey painting. And they're reaching out. Hey, where are you at? Oh, you're here you are. They start to shake hands. You can have this item. The door closes. It's all happened to us before. Has the swap happened now? Okay, there there's it is. There's the swap. That's the moment. They shut. The door shuts. It's time to go back down to the floor and get out of the hotel. You guys have seen it. You got a lot to digest. If you want to call us and just discuss your weekend plans, 413 Nine six one four two six three. Otherwise, we're just gonna churn and burn. That's as right. I call we got it. a lot of a lot of things we should get to. So I think it's good. We are on a roll, <laughs> and if you're just enjoying us, that's okay too. But this show is all about interactions. So we want to talk with you, or you can just chat with us in the adultswim.com chat. We have a chat site. It's pretty cool. It works. That brings up the next major major development we got to tell you guys about. Um, for weeks and weeks, we've had this uh, thought about when people aren't watching the stream, how do they know what to swap? Uh, how do they know what's out there? It's almost like we need a play-at-home version of the game. Right. It's so, been asked about a lot every day. Yeah. Every day. A lot of heat from the higher-ups. They're like, when are you going to solve this problem? Yeah. When are you going to give people the intimate uh, interactive experience they desire. So today it's with great pride that I announce we're rolling out our website version of the gallery at a URL you're going to love. It's called http colon slash slash www dot Williams Street Swap Shop dot biz up to the minute wow updates on all the items that are in the thing let's skip past we haven't talked about the f the, the few new ones yet so give me a little turbo scroll past those i don't want to tip i don't want to oh there we go you know you're at home you want the convenience of a website with all our gallery images on it here you go People have asked about it. What is available in the swap shop? We only see it when you bring it up. And we don't have enough time to show all the images. We have a lot of images in here. But you have enough time. If you're just busy hanging out, you're on social media, what are you going to do next? It's been about three hours you've been looking at social media updates. Head on over to williamstreetswapshop.biz. Look at these items. And now you can make offers to people. You can't email them, but the best way to get through is to email us at williams.swap at gmail.com and say, I want that wolf mask. Or you know what? Those exit signs would be great in my haunted house. I need them legally or else I can't function. We get it. You want to have high-resolution images of the things you're going to swap for. 
Um, we did a lot of studying what Zappos model is. They got great product shots. So we went back and we said, we redesigned the experience from the ground up. We said, let's put the user in mind um, and let's roll out this great website. And we're calling it www.williamstreetswapshop.biz. Don't forget the www. <clears throat> Welcome to the William Street Hello. Swap Shop. Come on in. Come on in. Hey, guys. Hi. Hey. Hey, it's Daniel. Daniel, hi. What? Welcome to the shop. Hey, guys. How are you doing today? We're, We're doing good. good. How are you? Thanks for the flyer, by the way. We, yeah. We loved it. Oh, yeah. No, I'm glad you liked it. Have you put it I up in your town they... yet? Yeah, I have. <laughs> Actually, <Nice>. yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. We uh, noticed our viewership's uh, up today. So. Oh, it is? The numbers are popping. Yeah. Because of the flyer, I think. Our research department is just watching, like, this is on account. This is insane. We've never seen this many people watching uh, during the daytime on your show. So, we had, hey, Our, thanks uh, to Daniel. The, yeah. Street team. That's right. Street team. And we're going to put up that PDF for download. I didn't get to it in time for today's show, but that really is happening, everyone. That's so. right. Print them out. Uh, buy your inkjet uh, ink right now from your favorite. Uh, office depot or staples and if you don't want to buy them guess what you can refill them go to walgreens going down the street they have a little service lab they put them in and it refills it it's a big mess the technician will get ink all over themselves but you don't have to touch it or handle it i go there i get my uh, photos developed and my ink refilled at the same time it's very convenient <laughs> Well, guys, I was calling to respond to the potential swap on my guitar pedal thing. Okay. Yeah, let's discuss. We can and, pull it up here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. I hate to do this because I always like to make a deal, but I can't do it. Okay. Ah, uh, no. We should have prepped the no deal stamp. <laughs> that's, that's okay. We didn't know. Uh, you know what I can do though is make the no deal stamp sound, if that works for okay. everybody. So you got to imagine a stamp falling down, and it says. Oh, wow. There it was. How did it pop up? No swap. I'm, yep. That was... This, uh, you triggered it, Daniel. You, it works. So there's no deal on that. <laughs> We're not swapping for it. But it's really... I hate to do that, though, because, you know... It's okay. We understand. Not all swaps uh, are meant to be together. Oh. If, if Ian... It's Ian, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, if he wants to make... Uh, counter offer proposal if he has any like pieces of art that I can hang on my wall that's okay. what I'm for always always get art on your wall would you like to talk an opportunity to speak directly to Ian right now and tell him what a good guy he is even though you don't like his swap sure yeah <clears throat> hey Ian it's Daniel I saw you proposed a potential swap I think the t-shirt's cool. I think Virgie B is cool. I think you're cool and a nice guy. A good caller and a good swapper. But I hate to tell you, man. I hate to tell you. I can't do it. I'm looking for some art for my walls. I'm trying to build up my art collection. So you got something like that, let me know. Hopefully we can make a deal. Uh, sincerely, Daniel. Nice. Sorry, I got into the role. I was I was performing your lines, and then I did a a indecent hand gesture that I shouldn't have done, and I feel bad about. Oh no! <laughs> I was wondering when you did that, Matt. I thought about that. Like this is very out of character. I, I don't know if I I was about to divorce myself from the set. I was thinking about walking outside the building. Hand gestures, if, if it's not a thumbs up or Normally, a rock sign, too wicked. I do this and then I go, but guess what? Oh, uh, see, ring that's finger. unacceptable. Ring finger. Unacceptable. <laughs> unacceptable. Oh, I just saw it. <clears throat> it's, I know it's a joke, but you know that it means it's a take mean it thing to do to people. When we uh, edit this show for the archives, I'm going to take that part out because I don't feel comfortable with that being... I'll work, I guess I'll stay late tonight till about midnight. I'll work on drawing a hand that covers up that night and it's just waving just a, hand, a high five. Give me a high five. Mm. So tell us about your well, week, your weekend plans. Are you going to um, 
just chill or are you going to go big? Um, well, I was planning on doing it, going to record store day tomorrow. Oh, oh yeah. Cool. Real quick, it um, just looks like in the adults from chat, Chris, who has the wolf mask, is offering the mask for your guitar pod, Daniel. Oh. Oh, really? Yes. I don't know if you've seen the wolf mask in the gallery. I'm sort of surprised. It's still, oh. it is not. It's. A, I guess you could say it's a piece of art. It's not something you could necessarily hang on your walls, but you could wear it and scare some people. Uh, yeah, that's. I definitely do that. Mm. You would consider that? I saw that that movie Creep a while ago. I really liked it, and I remember the mask from it. So okay. I was excited to see that. Damn, that was a live. Chris says you can yeah. mount the mask on a manica and voila, instant art. It's like art. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I love that. Do we have a swap stamp? Last time I remember we were supposed to make one and never did. Or, you know, we can just, yeah, it's, we just a deal. it's a deal. It, yeah. Daniel, you know the drill. If it's a deal, you say it's a deal, and then you make a handshake noise. You count us in. All right. It's a deal. It's a deal. It's a deal. So you called in rejecting a deal, and guess what happens? Counter deal. You get a new deal. We'll have to make a successful Amazing. swap video for that for Monday's show. That's what I'm talking awesome, about. Awesome, guys. We hope you have a great right, well, weekend. Yeah, yeah, y'all too. Thank we'll, you very uh, much, Daniel, and thank you again for the flyer. Yeah, we'll get you in touch with Chris, yes. and I love I love ending the week on a deal, you That's know, right. like a Friday deal. Oh, yeah, it's a great feeling. People know, you know, when they watch the show, even some of the executives here, they think, yeah, do you guys really swap anything? They watch this, it's cold, hard facts. They can't walk away from it. That's, that's my second deal of the week, actually. That's right, because you got hot, the monkey man. painting. You might be the swapper of the week, I think. We're going to go ahead and say that. Uh, yeah. And for every deal oh, awesome. we make, Zach and I get a, a Red Lobster gift card from the, our boss. Yeah, it's true. So we're excited. <laughs> nice. So we're getting two... Gift cards, Matt. I'm heading there this weekend. Cheddar biscuits I'll see you there. on me. What I'm talking about. Clam bisque. I'm in it. Oof. Face first. Get some of that popcorn shrimp. And just t constant. Just taking it. If you need me well, this weekend, right, I'll be f I'll be down in the bisque. That's what I tell my friends. Thanks for well, calling, I Daniel. Run, right? <laughs> I can tell you got to go to work. Thank we you, Daniel. Appreciate yeah. your call. All right. Have a, have a great uh, weekend. Thank you. We should have dinner tonight with our gift we cards. We should. You want to go to Red Lobster? We find one. Hopefully, yeah. find one OTP. It stands for Outside the Perimeter. Matt and I live in the city of Atlanta. Get outside the perimeter and get to Red Lobster. All the best RLs are north of the P, though. I got a... Uh, you try to go to the one in town, it's reverse. The best RLs are outside the P. Outside the P, get to the RL. Call from. Okay, goodbye. Oh, hi. Hi. Welcome to the William Street Swap Shop. I think shop. they might have just left. Yeah, they hung up. They just they got scared or they just had to miss connection. Their phone, if you're not upgraded to the top of your OS and you're using a signal. Call from. There it is. Oh, there they it probably is. have They're their back. phone fixed. Hello. I knew you'd come crawling back. Yeah, I came crawling back. <laughs> Welcome to the swap shop. What's up? Come on in. It's uh, it's Cody from uh, Sandwich. What's oh, hey, happening, Cody? man? What's how going are you? On? Hello, what's up? How are, how are both of you doing? We're, We're doing, pretty chill. Uh, I can't speak for Matt, but I'm doing great. <laughs> what was that I was just seeing? Like Matt was like flick, flicking off the camera and stuff. Yeah, he's being uh, being just being funny, I guess. You know, Matt's idea of a joke, trying to be silly on the camera. I lost my, uh, I lost my sense of self-control for a sec, and that's okay. We accept that here. It's a place where you can uh, have mood swings and be accepted for that. Yeah, Matt, are you are you doing okay? Your voice sounds like deep. You know, I was screaming this morning. Uh, our friend in the studio, Mason, can tell you about that. But I think it lowered my voice for the rest of the day. I mean, Don't it ask. sounds like you got. It sounds deep. I was screaming for uh, for uh, work. It wasn't personal emotion related. Sometimes Matt oh, goes oh, in yeah. and just... Oh, yeah. Now it's even lower. Like yeah, work, work purposes. Yeah. 
Matt yells uh, a lot. So I hear him in, I, Blue I, I, moon. I work right down the hall from Matt, and I hear him yelling constantly. It's almost like a bird clock. We, I used to have one of those bird clocks. Every hour, it would make a different bird noise at 1, 2, 3 p.m. Around 1 p.m., I hear Matt just, uh... Ah! And that's about what it sounds like to me. People actually do uh, scream in this um, building a lot, and I often wonder, is this the one that's real? But it never is. It never, never is. I sound good. I, I, you know, I was wondering uh, if, if you've had any hits for that black label. Uh, the Mountain Dew black label? Of course. I don't think we've had one yet. Not yet. You want to you wanna swap a sandwich paper for that? That's his. He has both of them. Oh, right. Sorry. You want to swap yourself one item for the other? I mean, if that'll, you know, count as a swap. Well, I think we should try and sell this black label to someone in the audience. We do know Tony loves soda. That's right. And so Kevin especially does. Yeah, Tony's son, Kevin. So why don't we try telling Tony, hey, Tony, what would you like to swap for this Mountain Dew black label? It's never been drank. It's staying refrigerated. We can be mailed to you. Boom. You don't even have to go to the store to get it. Just arrives at your doorstep. Right. I just actually picked up some pitch black today. There you go. Yeah, Is that's that another thing. That's another Mountain yeah, you Dew. Don't know. Maybe. You, you, got, know, you don't know about pitch black? They got code red, live wire, pitch black. They got all the hits. Why do you need a pitch black and a black label? It seems redundant, right? <laughs> the What's three the... D's deeper, darker, do, and they copyrighted it. Oh guys. So Cody, um, what's yeah. the latest in sandwich? What's uh what's the development in town? Uh we recently just had a uh, train der derailment. <laughs> nice. Dang. Sandwich is oh. the fact between the factory fire and the train derailment. Is everybody cool? Is it safe to joke about? Yeah, no, it's it was like uh you know, like where they store they store some sort of liquid in it. Mm -hmm. And uh so it just just one of the train cars came off the rail completely but it was right next to the factory fire damn that's like is that on the old uh burial ground? Burial, burial ground yeah yeah i'm thinking so they seem to have a lot of bad things happen in that zone that's unfortunate yeah so that's i think that's like the latest um i'm here with another fellow sandwich sandwich in mm -hmm. okay so i don't know if he knows anything that's been kind of popping off in sandwich but uh What's the scoop? He's nothing. saying he's saying no. It's it's nothing. it's not very. It's not uh, Mountain Dew Live Wire around here. You know, it's not really crazy. Oh. Okay. Do you guys have a dollar store there? Yes, we do. Dollar General. And um, what's uh? Do you ever go in there? Uh yeah for for cat litter for my my kitty cat. That's a good place to buy. Is that more than a, do a oh, dollar right. there? Or? Uh, actually, that is a non-supporting dollar price, Dollar General. So you want to go to Dollar Tree okay. for everything that's dollar. That's where the real deals are. That's the more than a dollar, General. Right, right. Well, we love hearing from Sandwich. That's right. Unfortunately, we're a sandwich we're like, correspondent. We got like a few more things we got to wrap that's up the right. week with. But thank you for All calling right. in, Cody. We Thanks always hear, love hearing your voice, and uh, we hope to hear from you soon. And do me a favor and go put uh, 50 bucks on the uh, number five ostrich in the ostrich racetrack today. Sounds good. I'll get over there to the sandwich fair. Good. Perfect. Buy me a, right, uh, take a picture of a funnel cake in the ostrich race and send it on over. Nothing better to have a weekend with a funnel cake. Or an elephant here. That's you know, always that. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what I'm talking about. All right, about. guys. You uh, have a wonderful Friday and enjoy your weekend. Thank you. You Thanks, too, Cody. Cody. You too. See you later. Bye. Bye. Cody's a good caller. We good like caller. Cody a lot. Sandwich, Illinois is sort of the unofficial capital of the... the That's right. It's like our sister city sort of thing. Well, we're getting low on time, so we need to talk about our... Uh, That's right. We have a lot to talk about. If you were here yesterday, you know that we shot a pilot for a new show tony's been talking about it in the chat i see him yeah he's trying to get us to talk about it now here it is you're in luck tony we got we we sort of put together 
here's the deal. I need to set this up a little. Okay. We've got an opportunity here um, to really, I think, make something great. And so we're putting together uh, like a really premium pitch for our development guys. And we want to put it out here first and get your guys' opinion. Like, what do we need to do? Should we add a female character? Right. What needs to happen? But here's just a... You're our first focus group. We need you to definitely let us know how can this, yeah. how can we make this the best comedy? How can we make this the next big hit? How do you want to see these characters grow? How do you feel like what's going well, what's not working so well? And just help us shape this into a thing we can really feel great about pitching to the network later. Um, this is our pitch video for one and a half Tonys. This is a pitch for Amazon Prime, the executives, and any other development executives. It's called One and a Half Tonys. We would pitch it as a 20 episode series for season one and would go further from there. It stars Tony and his son Kevin. His son Kevin loves to drink soda, sugary drinks, juices. He's always bringing them in the house and spilling them on Tony's things. Tony loves HDVDs. He has a big collection of them, and Kevin accidentally spills soda on it on the first episode. In Tony's spare time, he enjoys going to graveyards. Please pick up this show. It will be a big hit. It will be a lot of money generated. Move over, Borscht. One and a half Tony's is now on your radar. And we put together a sizzle reel. Here's a look. Kevin, what is this? G darn mess on my TV. <laughs> it's just my Fanta, Dad. Don't worry about it. Who's buying the Fanta for you, Kevin? You are, Dad. I'll clean it up. Just, just Fanta. You got it on my HD DVDs, Kevin. They don't even make HD DVDs anymore, Kevin. They are collector items. Well, Dad, I'm really thirsty. You know I like soda. How can I not drink it and accidentally spill it? Who's buying them for you? Again. Who's buying the Fanta for you, Kevin? I love you, G Dad. D GD, Kevin, there's ants all over the place. Who's gonna clean that up? They're my friends, Dad. They're more entertaining There's than those ants HD. In <laughs> There's ants everywhere, Kevin. They're more inter entertaining than my HDVDs. You know, you know, I don't believe in Blu-ray. Dad, Kevin. it's embarrassing when my friends come over and they see HD DVDs and they want to watch it, and we don't even have a system to play it. You have a Blu-ray player, Dad, but it doesn't play HD DVDs. Kevin, you know I like to live in the past, all right, Kevin. There's well, nothing else going for me in the future. It's the past. I'll be more careful with my sugary drinks, but you can't stop me from drinking them, Dad. Yeah, well, who's buying them for you, huh, Kevin? I wish I, I was just... never born. Who's buying them for you? Again. Who's buying the Fanta for you, Kevin? You are, Dad. Well, thank you for All your right, call, Tony. We'll good. keep you posted, uh, you know, when the time comes for contract for, and paperwork. Yeah. Just Hopefully go ahead. Be like and, a million dollars. Yeah, go ahead and uh, get your hopes up about making a lot of money. <laughs> okay. Same okay. smile on my face I as know. I did we from. We exact. We haven't right. aged a, barely a day since then. That's right. Looking like I'm younger. <clears throat> uh, you guys got the first look. We haven't shown this to anyone else. We haven't shown it to anyone in the building. It's all live. What are your first impressions? How do we make it better? That's right. The, the, the thing about when we develop shows here at William Street is what do we need to add to it? And before we give it to our development team on their show, we need to pitch it, get it good, make it tight, make it a good show. Controversial to use the watches as the main characters, but I think it's working. I think we should stick with that. We thought about recasting it with humans. And uh, I woke up in the middle of the night sweating through my sheets, and I said, no, it's got to be the watches. And then I went back to bed and sweated through my sheets again. And one of our executives this morning said, you know, we have the talking food products. They were a big hit. I support the watches. You should make the watches. Somebody says, I hate the ants. All right, duly noted. We'll consider removing the ants. They said they hate everything, actually. Oh, OK. They we said, I hate everything, and then someone said something else, and then they said, I hate the ants. 
But everyone else is saying, gee darn it, Kevin, I'd fund it, amazing. Okay, we got good We got good initial feedback with our focus group. That's right. Um, one and a half Tonys. You guys, spend some time on it this weekend. Tell your friends at the barbecue about this great show you've seen. Let's get a little media buzz. That's right. We're going to hashtag it one and a half Tonys. And uh, hopefully by Monday we'll we'll have a real big uh, buzz going for that. Yeah, and pitch it. We have a development team here in house. We'll pitch it to one of our development execs and go from there. That's the only way we can do it: is start from the bottom and go to the top. Started from the bottom and now we're here. That's right. Just as we were. Oh, that reminds me. We never checked in the dude doing a Drake uh, beard cut. Yeah, I think he sent us an image too. We grabbed that Drake uh, beard trim. We promised we'd reveal his uh, how his beard turned out at the end of the week. It's yesterday. I think his name was Clive or something like that. He has a much better <coughs> <coughs> facial hair structure than I do. He was able to grow a full beard that connects. And at the do say when he sent the picture, and I thought we're looking at Drake. Oh wait, no, that's just Clive. This is the weird spot in the night or in the day where there's like a. I don't want to start anything. We're almost out of time. Right. Maybe it's a good time to just sort of uh, talk about what you learned this week. <coughs> well, I've learned a lot. I've learned that you have to be honest with each other, you have to be open to all sorts of communication and ideas. Ideas are what fund the world. It's not about. People say, oh, it's a good idea. Who comes up with ideas? Humans do. So we need to love each other and treat everyone with respect. And I think we're just about ready. And There's here's the final the final beard reveal. It looks great. His name wasn't Clive. What was his name? We don't know his name. His email handle was something. Dot something. He called in. I want to say his name was Justin. What was it? Justin. Justin. Okay. Justin, if your name's not Justin, we apologize. Sorry for that. We showed your beard. That's all we're We get a lot of callers. A lot of people come in the swap shop. We don't <laughs> get all the names. But we try our best, and that's something we can improve on, and we can always improve. Thank you for viewing the swap shop today. Thank you for stopping by. And thank you for your comments. We'll keep you posted on the development of our uh, pitch. Next week, hopefully, we're going to um, put some, something together and really pitch it to the execs and maybe do that live at some point. 100% so. serious about mm -hmm. it. Otherwise, I can't wait to have a great weekend, kick back, and have a few drinks. It's been a great week. I always enjoy the opportunity to swap with you. Likewise. And until Monday, you guys, we'll see you then. It's and a deal. It's a deal. <laughs>